Ah, oh, it seems you're awake. Hope you aren't too startled. I do realize this isn't exactly where you normally awaken. So used to luxury, aren't you, your highness? Where are you? <laughs> As if I would tell you that. What do you take me for? You really have to stop underestimating me. It doesn't help with my mood. Why did I kidnap you? <laughs> You're just as naive as you've always been, though. I guess I can't blame you for that. You're just as good as you are innocent. That's one of the reasons you captured my heart. Yes, I'm in love with you! Gosh, it took you until now to realize that? I've been earnestly trying to earn your heart all this time, yet you only ever looked at her. I was the one who stayed by your side, who helped you through every obstacle, yet you ran to her without a second thought. You didn't know? You would have said something if you had known? Please, your highness, spare me from the excuses. I have known you since we were children. I stayed with you when the queen died, when your father spouted criticism after criticism of you. It was I who was beside you. Yet, the moment the saint showed up, you immediately went to her. Even when I was with you, she was all you could talk about. I couldn't even converse with you for a second before you brought up something about her. How good she was. How wonderful. How perfect. You wouldn't understand any anyway, your highness. Beloved, wherever you go, how could you understand me? You've never known what it was like to face rejection. I can't think you'll ever truly understand me. Oh, you do. I find that highly doubtful. Still, after everything, I find myself in quite a predicament. Well, you see, I... Don't think I can bring myself to hate you. It's ironic, isn't it? I even kidnapped you and brought you here, yet, looking at your face, I don't know if I have what it takes to keep you here. Pitiful, isn't it? This all could have been solved had you just loved me. If you'd realize who'd truly been by your side, who would truly do anything for you, we could have avoided this entire situation. You're asking about her. Why am I not surprised? It always comes back to her, doesn't it? Don't tear yourself apart. I haven't done anything to your beloved saintess. At least, not directly, anyway. Hmm? Well, let's just say that there are people in very similar situations to your own. Yes, that's right. I also kidnapped the Duke. I've set the stage quite nicely, do you not think so? The saint is his father, isn't it fitting? Well, that saint is of yours so graciously exposed the deeds of my treasonous father. Such an amazing deed for our empire. Isn't it only right I pay back the favor? <laughs> you know I treasure you more than anything, your highness, but I don't think I can forgive you for that day. My father begged you, pleaded you to spare him, to leave him alive so he could protect me and my sister. He knew we had no one else. And he'd been your loyal vassal all these years, protecting our domain faithfully. Yet, with just one whisper from your saintess, you had him executed. I wonder, just how much does she mean to you? Enough that you'll burn down the empire for her? Enough that you kill my father and ruin my life. Enough that you still get that look in your eye every time I mention her. Forget it. I'm done reasoning with you, your highness. I merely wonder which one she'll go to first. Who does she love more? The duke? Or your highness? I have to say I'm quite curious. And we'll be finding out soon. Which will it be? Well, she can only have one. I don't believe it to be fair if she gets the both of you. Whoever she goes to first, she can have. The other, well, shall we see who she loves more? 
<laughs> Should you not be relieved, you'll get to know if your saint is truly loves you. The confirmation of true love. Isn't that just the most wonderful gamble? You do not get to call me crazy. You drove me here. You took everything from me. All the while you held your saint as close to you and told me it was for my own good. You took my family, my status, my reputation, and even my heart. And the worst part is I still love you. I can't stop hearing your voice in my head. The sweet promises you made, the small acts of kindness, it's all just too much to bear. I hate the look you're giving me. Like someone took over my body and you're trying to bring me back. Sorry to break it to you, your highness, but this is me. This is what your actions have led to. Don't try to make me reminisce the past. That's all I've done for the last two years of my life. Remember who I used to be? What nonsense. I used to be foolish and lonely. You were my only source of happiness. You meant everything to me. I loved you more than the world itself. Then she came along. You were excited with your shiny new toy and you left me to rot. I began to focus on other things, hoping to drive you from my thoughts and... And suddenly there you are with your beloved, taking everything I had left. You took my father, then my place in high society next. I bet you believed your little saintess's lies about me too, didn't you? Did she come crying to you after her first party, saying I bullied her? You did everything in your power to ensure she would shine at the next, buying her expensive dress after dress. You publicly supported her banquets ensuring she could have every luxury she could ever think of. And you had the nerve to tell me you still cared for me afterwards. You still told me I was your friend and that I meant the world to you. Was I just a joke to you the entire time? Did you laugh with her afterwards, thinking I was such a fool, so gullible, so stupid? I know you didn't. You genuinely thought you were doing what was right, and I think that makes me even more mad. You try to be righteous, your highness. You try harder than anyone I know, and that's what makes me furious. After all your worries, you came to the conclusion that you love her and not me. Are you finally realizing that your saintess isn't all that she said she was? <laughs> you don't even have to believe me. I just hope you regret it for the rest of your life. I hope you go to sleep every night wondering how you pushed me to the edge. How you took everything from me while brandishing justice. <laughs> I guess we're both victims of the saintess's lies, but... Unlike you, I actually awoke. <laughs> Getting nervous, aren't you, your highness? Who will she pick? Or maybe <laughs> she'll pick neither. Are you curious? <laughs> Let's see who she'll come and save.